today we're gonna take a look at player kits. A Minecraft plugin which allows you to create kits on your Minecraft server. It is very easy to set up, you can completely customize what's in them and also who can actually claim them. It might be the best kits plugin out there and it's also 100% free. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, you would really help me out. And then without any further ado, uh, let's freaking go. One of the links down below will take you to the player kits Spig MC page. Over here you simply want to click on download now, then make your way to your Minecraft server directly Directory, look for the plugins folder and simply drag player kits inside. After doing that and getting back in game, we can now set up some player kits. So when we type the command slash kits, we will get a needy little menu where we can see all the currently existing kits. So we got the iron kit, which gives an iron axe, pickaxe and sword. And we got the diamond kit, which actually has a price. Now, of course, if you want the price to actually work and apply, you also need to install vault and an economy plugin. I will leave a link to essentials X and vault in the description so if you want to do something with a currency you will have to download and install those too now if i want to claim the iron kit i can simply click and there we go the iron kit has been received i got my materials and i'm a happy man now now the big question is of course how can you make a kit yourself it is actually incredibly easy so here i am in game mode survival i got a netherite sword i got a tnt some golden ingots full netherite armor and a totem of undying. I want to turn this all into a kit. Well, simply type slash kit create. And after that, we got to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one OP because it's a pretty OP kit. Then press enter and that's it. Kit OP has been created. So when I now use the command slash kits, you can see a brand new kit has been created. The OP kit. Now it doesn't have any description yet, but it is something we can change later on. But the kit itself already works. So when I now just click on here, there we go. All the armor I was just wearing, all the stuff I just had in my inventory, and even the item that was in my offhand has all been gifted to me through this kit. Now it's kind of a shame that we're not automatically wearing the armor, it's just in our inventory. We want to make sure that when we claim the kit, the armor is automatically put on. Well, you can actually do that. And there are a lot more settings that you can change. So when we use the command kits edit, and then in my case OP, we will get the kit editing menu. Over here, you can change a lot of settings. One of those settings is set auto armor. When enabling this, armor will automatically be equipped when claiming a kit. And that is of course exactly what we want. Now over here you can also set the slot so you can change the place where it appears inside of the kit's menu. You can change the cooldown so currently it is set to 3600 seconds which is 5 minutes. If you're gonna give out netherite gear I would set the cooldown just a little higher. Then there is the permission. So the permission basically determines which players can claim this kit. If you're running a Minecraft server you're probably already using luck perms. If you have no clue what luck perms is or what a permission is in the first place I would highly recommend watching my video about it i will link it as a card on this video but this is the permission you would have to give to groups or to players so that they can claim this kit then we also got things like first join so should the kit automatically be applied when a player joins the server for the very first time should it be a one-time kit if you set it to one time then you of course don't have to worry about the cooldown it doesn't matter anymore because it is just a one-time thing you can also set it to a one-time buy meaning that players can only purchase it once and over here we got all the items that are included in the kits. These are exactly all the items I had in my inventory at the time of creating it. You can click here if you want to change them. Then next up we got something very interesting, the kit commands. So let's say you want to use a kit to change people's ranks. Well that is something that you can actually do with this. You can also make it so that when they claim a certain kit they will be teleported to for example a pvp arena. So if you want to add a command we can simply click, after that click on add command and then we're gonna type game mode creative and then percent player percent there we go so now this command will execute when we claim this kit in other words we will be set to game mode creative very very bad idea for your own server but it's it's fun to try then over here we got set page so if you eventually have a lot of kits on your minecraft server then you might have multiple pages i don't have that many yet so for me everything is just on page one though let's say you have 200 kits then you might want to set this one on page three for example and then last but not least the 
price. If you want your players to pay to receive a certain kit, then this is where you can do that. Then over here, you can change the display item. So the way you will appear inside of the kit's menu, we kind of got a netherite armor set going on here. So I'm actually going to change it. I'm going to click on here. And after that, I'm going to click on the iron sword. I'm going to take it out. And then I'm going to put the netherite sword inside. That's it. It's as easy as that. You can, of course, also change the display name. You can change the lore. So the text, it will show beneath the display name. And then if the item should be glowing, yes or no. I'm going to do that, actually. You can also make sure that players see a different item when they don't have permission to claim the kit or when they don't have enough money to purchase the kit. So when we now go back to the kit's menu, you can see that the OP kit has a new icon. Netherite sword, glowing, that's perfect. And when we now claim the kit, you can see we don't have any armor in our inventory. How could that be? Well, it is of course automatically equipped. So that is really, really nice. Some other commands that might interest you. When you do slash kits preview and then the name of your kit, you will be able to see what stuff will actually come with that kit. This is especially handy when your kits are for sale so that players can check what they will actually receive. When you do slash kits list, you will get a list of all the currently available kits. By doing slash kits give, you can give a certain player a kit. So by executing this command, I will give the OP kit to myself. And you can even force a certain kit inventory open. So when I execute the command slash kits open Casasora 1, it will open the first page of the kit inventory. So when I press enter, this is what I will get. And you can do this for any player on your server. And that will be everything for today. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You would really help me out by doing that. And then I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.